Hey people, how's it going? We're Hi, in the wish. government district to talk to Kelderon's family. So he will not complain. Are you full? Good. Time to pass the ring. Here we go. Uh, go up here. Go this way. Are you interested in purchasing a bit of merchandise, my friend? Um, hey, what do you got? Well, you've got the look of an adventure about you. I've been one myself, betwixt tents as the turnip salesman, that is. Occasionally the markets get down, and the formerly self-respecting purveyors of fine veggies are forced to prostitute their abilities in the form of adventuring. So, of course, mobile vegetable peddling versus heroism, the eternal question. You understand implicitly. That reminds me of the time my dearest cousin Josephine fell in with the guilty dwarf. Miserable bloke, really. Bad teeth, rancid smell, truly a joke of the gods. We used to torment Josie, that was my pet name for her, but her teensy weensy nose and the way it, ho it hooked into her. Uh, what's your point? My point, oh so friendly one, is I've got items to sell you that are specially created by yours truly, taking one of the dangerous paths to heroism, known as Jan Janssen's Flasher Master Bruiser Mate. Pay attention. Take one of these babies and chuck it at the average Joe Ark. Close your eyes real tight and whoosh! He's running around in circles, clutching his eyeballs and screaming and yelling like Uncle Sven after three days on a turnip beer bender. I uh -oh. trust all is well. Tracks. Old gnome in the name of the Omnian Revenue and Taxation Board. Not again. Bottom feeding, turnip eating, scum sucking brigand. Nothing better to do than stop an honest businessman from selling high quality illegal flashes for a reasonable price. Cover for me. Jan Janssen, no my citizen of Omni. You've been charged with tax evasion and the illegal sale of illegal items in an illegal manner. Trax, old friend, you do me a great wrong. I'd never broken the laws, my pappy always said. Now, now let's sidetrack me with your cursed tales again. I'm smarter than you think. Shut up, you. Latrine duty beckons. We've been on to you for days, Janssen. You've caught out the very act of selling your dangerous and illegal contraptions. What? Falsely accused by an old friend. I'm not your friend. You're no one's friend. That's it. Enjoy guarding you used chamber pots. Sorry, sir. I swear this job will slam me in an asylum. And who might be you be? He's certainly no regular customer, this felon. Um, I'm just an adventurer. Well, Alphonse, did this gnome try to sell you illegal merchandise? Specifically, flashers, as he likes to call them? Um, we were just talking about the weather? The gnome has gotten to you, too. Jensen, you can no longer peddle in Athcott lies for you, Alphonse. You've made a dangerous enemy. Who's dangerous enemy? I am you idiot. Now back to the office. Yay! There goes a truly evil man. Uncle Scratchy seems like a saint in comparison. Regardless, it seems that I'm once again out of the black market. Ah, uh, Jan's a illusionist thief. I like him. If I don't have a thief, he's the one I'll take. A lot of people find him annoying. It's sort of like a like a Jahir thing. You either like him or you hate him. Thanks, but uh, we got enough people. Anyway, he can be found in the slums at his house. Oh, let's book it! And this is where I find out if I have Kelsey <laughs> installed. Because I honestly don't remember what mods I've got installed. But I apparently don't have the Kelsey mod because Kelsey usually appears right here. But this is ah, Kaldorn's estate. Here at long last is my estate. The servants have tended to it well this past while. Yeah, he gets here often. You can tell. Alright. Open the door. Let's go in. Get ready for family fighting. What the? Where are you going? Where am I going? I have to reprimand myself. Ah, Peony, you've done a time. You've done a fine job with the flowers out front. Where's your mistress? Oh, I love Keldorn. It's been over a month since I last saw your face. And it has been long since I've seen my lady. Come, girl, is Maria about? Oh, certainly not, Keldorn. Lady Maria is in, in her chambers. I'll go get her. <laughs> if you could, Peony, and the girls too. 
Lovely family reunion, I sense. Ah, my sweet Vesper. How is your schoolwork coming? The priests are still kind to you for my sake? Yes, father. Good, good, that's good to hear. And Leona, the boys are telling our the boys are letting you play with them now? They're not teasing you anymore? Not when the priests are around to hear it. Good, good, that's good. Mother, can I go now? Of course, dears. Go back to the sitting room while your father and I talk. Crack that whip, Maria. So, who are these? Heathen you converted in Calimport? Traveling pilgrims you stumbled across in Saradouche? Maria, this is Alphonse. We're searching for his childhood companion who... I don't care, Keldorn. It's been two months since you were here last, and then it was barely for a day. Not even enough to leave your scent about the place. Work with the order must be done, Maria. You know I, if I had my choice, I would be here. Would you? Would you really? The guild house is right here in the city, but even then I never see you. Just radiant art this, radiant what art that. What about me? What about my heart, Keldorn? What if I don't love you anymore? Maria! <gasps> What if the girls can't live without a father anymore? What if I can't live without a husband? You do not love me anymore. I, I've loved you and I always shall. However will I hide it, every day I spend without you is a day that's lost forever. I love you like I love the church, but the church is a harsh, harsher taskmaster. We knew that when we married. I know, I know, I love you the same fashion with all my heart. If we have love, Maria, what could ever come between us? I've, I've been seeing another man. The children and the servants already know he... He took the girls to the circus twice. Oh, Keldorn. You, you what? What's his name? William. Sir William of Thorpe. I beg you, don't hurt him, Keldorn. I can't have you. At least let me have something. Oh, my. Perhaps this wasn't the best time for us to join Keldorn here. I feel like we're intruding on something that really should be private. No kidding. Go. Go to your daughters. To look at you right now, Maria. To look at you is to go mad. Curse the dictates of honor. Oh, the very gods demand that I bring this case before the courts. So William shall be hung and the love of my entire life imprisoned. There is no other outcome. Uh, no. I don't go to the courts and I don't kill him. Let's go talk to Sir William. He's a four noble established trade here in Athkatla. He's a good man, at least I always thought so until till now. Alphonse, nothing's clear to me anymore. Come, I know of him. He's often at the Mithrest Inn in Joaquin's Promenade. Let's go and see what we can make of this. How convenient. So be it. Uh, before I screw up majorly, I'm going to swap rings. Just in case you take it out. I pledge my service and my life if need be. No, no, we don't have time. There's another quest trigger up that way. But I'm like, nope, 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 I'll just I'll just go. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered something. <laughs> the, uh, the Temple of Helm wanted me to talk to... Uh, what's his name? Sir Charles? About... Getting his services to get a statue for the temple. And this is the state he's in. And they're very snooty. Something stranger. I've heard Sir Charles was here. Suck a dick. Of asshole. course. There's the gist of. Here's Sir Sarles. Who is it? 
Might I ask why you have disturbed my meditations? I apologize, I've come on a commissioned artwork. Now the bloody church has sent you, didn't they? Must be, because everyone else understands the word no. Almost sent me forth. And your offer is the same as others. Gold and the satisfaction of serving one true whatever. Think of the gold. A lot for more if it's not enough. Yeah, he'll always just give you a, a shit answer no matter what you say. But I always go for gold because, like, everybody needs money. I've not paid for a single luxury of my own. Oh, fuck you then. What I really need is to work in the medium of my choice. Pure illithium. <sighs> I don't know of a source, and I don't think the churches do either. That's not my problem. I'm enjoying my holiday. <sighs> it's all you people are having the difficulties. Find an ore merchant. I recall the name of one that was referred to me in my last visit. Ju Julia. Go speak with her. Try the promenade. Now, fuck off. And we're going to the promenade anyway. So we're combining... Combining things. In Torm's name, I shall serve. Getting it to go. We should be able to resolve uh, Keldorn's problem. Uh, deal with Ares, messenger to see Quail. Um, it'll take a while for the ore merchant. We gotta wait at least a day for her to get the ore. <coughs> and there's a long ass quest with that as well. Do 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 How much money do we have anyway? We have at least over fifteen thousand. Almost twenty thousand. Nineteen four thirty seven. Excuse me. <coughs> Save. Right to the promenade. Whoosh. Do we get waylaid? You have been waylaid by enemies. You must defend yourself. Holy shit. I wouldn't dream of refusing. I'm still here. Oh, you we just hit through. the fan. Where Minsk goes. Evil stands aside. I expected as much. Oh, sucker. We've got no spells. Um, run I this will way. I do what I can. Harry, do you have anything? Uh, I don't think she'll be able to get anything off, so. Faster than chick. Take a fast pause. Please don't get hit. Run. 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 I shall do my utmost. In bare bones. Run. 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 A good hit. Oh, good. He's dead. All right. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I oh, won't yes. be as gentle. I, as you wish. And then that shall be the trick. All right. For you the no needy. For the needy. Just as I told Screw you. We're going. This going back so to rage. I am your doom. Are you our doom? Don't force talk to him. He's in a rug. Alright, loops. I'm just taking the monies. Monies and gems, baby. If I can find that there. I don't like cities much. They're built on the backs of the unfortunate. Oh, look at me, I'm a turtle bitch. I think we've looted everything.
give me that. That's not mine. I stand okay, ready. Groovy. So be it. Let's go. The promenade. I think that's it for ambushes. Who are you? Jesus, Dal Dallin, you tracked us down quite a ways. He's usually in the uh, government district by the fountain. Now he's going to have a nice talk with Minsk. I'm not going to read it all. Um, Dylan's here. He was sent by... Uh, the town in the Umar Hills. He's looking for somebody that can help the village. Imnisvale. Okay. I could not remember the name of it. Anyway, we heard the speech about uh, what's going on there. And we're going to go take care of it. Yep, let's go. There we go. I you walked a long way, Dylan. Comrades. Seriously. Let us endeavor to remain hail this day. You mean hail. What time is it? Oh, we got a book. Because we need to get to um, the ore merchant. She's right there-ish. <laughs> and we got the scattered party. Stay together, people. Uh. Yes, she's there, all right. Here we go. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. I have need of a lithium. How much would 200 pounds be worth? Damn, he's mad. Um, does that mean you don't have any in stock? You don't know what's involved in getting a lithium. I've had an agreement with a rather special source. It's only so much I'm allowed. 50 pounds a season at most. Oh, God. I don't have that kind of time. It's difficult, but not impossible. There are two options. You can go to my source and try and get the extra out of him, or you can use a substitute. Um, where's your source? He, he might see reason, but it require a compensation for revealing him. If work got out where my source was, I'd be put out of business. Make it worth my while. How does 500 gold sound? Sounds like the end of me for a mere pittance. No, that's not enough. Okay, a thousand? Yes, okay. Unger Hildark. He saves the copper coronet when he's in town. Don't get him mad, will you? He's enough for risk coming here. He's a he's a Durgar. Okay. Well, we've got the information. Let's see. He's in disguise. Um Perhaps I should try and get that substitute as well. I would wager a der derivative of a lithium would serve just as well. Pure lithium is quite rare, but an ally could be fashioned at a reasonable rate. Okay, can you fashion the ally? It'll require some coin for the servers. Tell you what I'll do. I'll get 200 pounds of the ally together and you can pick it up tomorrow. Be sure to have 200 gold ready. You'll agree the price is very reasonable. Alloy requires very little lithium, so it's quite inexpensive. Very well. I'll be in here in a day. So come back in 24 hours. Ugh. <sighs> See, we gotta stop by the circus. We gotta stop by the adventurer's mark. Iridium? Do you even know it? That's not even supposed to be out. You have that in plastic wrap or something? I mean, because, you know, seriously. Alright. What do we have that's not identified? I 
we'll sell that too. Take this dagger. I'm pretty sure you can use daggers. Not that it matters. I don't expect you to go into melee. We shall strike a blow deep into evil's heart. There is no more worthier cause. Yep. All right, here we go. Identification. Bolts plus two. Dink, dink, dink. Identify. Elven longbow. Warhammer one plus four versus giant kin. Ring of earth control. Orc leather plus three. Gives you negative to charisma. I think that was it. Oh. Let's identify those. Alright, now we gotta sell stuff. But here, Arbane Sword. You can sell that for good. And, oh no, don't sell that yet. Let's get all this stuff together. Here we go. Paul Bartman at your service. Okay. Keep all that. We can sell the plate. We can sell that. Stop. I want to scroll here. There we go. And darts of wounding. Control, pass that up there. Requires a 10 strength. Does she have a 10 strength? She does. Creepy. And uh, here's this. It's going to wear armor class 4, class 7. Well, they'll give him a better armor class anyway. Negative one, it gives him a nine, but we'll put this magic ring back on. Oh, 17, well, still better than nothing. Alright, and I'll take that, and he'll get the uh, longbow. I'm gonna go to dual weapons for him, but for now, it's uh, as good as it can, can they get. There we go. Work. The adventure marks the finest shopping in yes, all yes, of it's awesome. Widest selection, lowest prices, so and nary a fancy illustration. Just the goods, fair and plain. Get money back for that armor. Okay. Now let the circus, then let the myth rest in. Aye, as you wish. I'm going to quick save just in case, because <coughs> I've never done the airy quests. I don't think this does anything uh, important. Uncle Quail, it's good to see you again. Is, is everything alright? You sent somebody to come ask me. You sent someone to ask me to come. That was good to see you, and yes, I did ask you to come. I think you can help. One of my friends, rather. I'd be happy to. Which friend are you talking about? No one you know of, my dear. Unless I met in my earlier days when I happened to find myself in the Outer Plants. It's a long story I won't get into. She's here in Ethcotla, and she herself is in a bit of a bind. She won't really let her asking for help. You and Alphonse might be able to help more than I. I'd be happy to help her, Uncle Quail. That is, if Alphonse thinks we have the time. What, what do you think? Well, let's see. There's no rush in such a thing. If you find the time, her name is Riala Shy. She can be found at the Playhouse beneath the Five Flagons Inn in the Bridge District. If you can't help her, well, you can help her. But Rayless is a dear heart, and it would be an old gnome's heart good if you could try. I'll find some time to speak to her. 
That's it? Shit. So I pledge my service and my life if need be. To the Mithrestin. Which is ha. Really, you guarantee it? And this guy. For the good. My time is quick, so be brief, commoner. Uh, you know why I'm here? What's husband to your wife and father to your children, if that's what you mean? Lady Marie has one husband, and that's me. For Vesper and Leon, how dare you defy them with your presence? They yearn for a father, any father, even an imposter off the street in your steed. Be to them in your compassion what you are to them in blood, Kelthorn. So says the viper will sleep in my bed, running his wretched fingers through spun gold that is her hair. What do you wish, Sir William, to have a child that is not even yours? I haven't got an erection for years. What am I to do? You show no remorse, yet at the same time, you're devoid of malice. Maria loves you deeply, but without expression, love withers and dies. I was but a drop of moisture. You're the oasis she searches for. You asking for my forgiveness? <laughs> Hell no! Sir William is right. It's time I spoke with my wife. Let's make our way to your estate and bring some closure to this turmoil. We need to sleep, though. Dude. Dude. Oh, um, yeah, let's save because I'll probably get a dream. Promenade. All right, here we go. Never had my Selection of your services. Here we go. Cutscene. Enjoy. Ugh. Life is strength. This is not to be contested. It seems logical enough. You live, you affect your world. Okay, I follow. But is it what you need? You are different inside. Uh, I need pancakes. You... You making me pancakes? Cause that would be awesome. I'd become a mage if you could make pancakes. This woman lives and has strength of a sort. But she's not made of pancakes? She lost her parents to plague, her husband to war, but she persevered. With pancakes? Her farm has prospered, her name is respected, and her children are fed and safe. With she pancakes? She thought she should. And pancakes? And now she is dead. From too many pancakes? Jesus, her land pancakes. will be divided, her children will move on, and she will be forgotten. What about the pancakes? She lived a good life, but she had no power. She was a slave to death. I wonder if you are destined to be forgotten. Will your life fade in the shadow of greater beings? Probably. You are born of murder, the very essence of that which takes life. You have power if you wish it. Well, so far, the only thing I want from power is pancakes. <laughs> really? But the consequences are so very real. Unless it's a pancake monster, I'm not interested. Your actions affect so many others than yourself. You will come to realize how little choice you have. Of course they affect other people. I'm in a fucking party. You will do what you must, become what you must. Or others will pay for your cowardice. Who said I was a coward? You will accept the gifts offered to you. Unless it's pancakes, I don't want your fucking presents. Damn. I just wanted pancakes. You have a plan? Okay. 
So let's save. Oh, there we go. And we will go deal with Keldorn and Maria next time. So thanks, I appreciate it. Enjoy your pancakes. <laughs>